from our God above. Open wide the doors of mercy, open wide the gates of love. We are sinners always seeking mercy from our God above. Open wide the doors of mercy, open wide the gates of love. We are sinners always always seeking mercy from our God above. Good morning, everyone. Look at the excitement today. Boys and girls, we're the second Sunday of Lent. I hope Lent has been good to you so far, and I hope that you're uh, trying to take a few things away, add a few prayers, things like that. And It makes it much more special when we get to Easter. If you celebrated a birthday last weekend or this week coming up, I want you to stand up right there in the room, and everybody is going to say on three, happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Perfect. Um, the, we use the children's lectionary, and there's been a little bit of a change. You should have that. Uh, Tim was going to make sure he emails it to you through the... I actually have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But anyway, you should have the readings. I don't know how. Uh, <laughs> and um, there's a little change in the reading, and you'll see why. Uh, for pastoral reasons, we took the uh, other reading from a different time, but it's perfect. You'll see that one reading, and then we'll have the gospel because we use the children's lectionary. After the Mass, Tim and I will come out and say hello to everybody. Um, and uh, as I've said every week, um, the hardest thing has been sort of the deaths. Uh, and so we remember in a special way today Craig McDonald and Joanne Long. And we also remember from funerals this past week John McDonald and Russ Hennebury, and so we ask your prayers for them and for their families to help get through these difficult days. Now, let us take a moment and ask God's Holy Spirit to re enter right into our homes, into this space, uh, into wherever we are watching this, that we might sing, pray, and praise well on this second Sunday of Lent. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. And to receive the Lord this day, we take a moment to call to mind our own sinfulness and we pray. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers brother, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Kiri Le Song 
come You came to call sinners Grace days on Christe Seat for us, carry his heart. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us of our sin and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, we are citizens of heaven and are eagerly awaiting for our Savior to come from there. Our Lord Jesus Christ has power over everything, and he will make these poor bodies of ours like his own glorious body. Dear friends, I love you and long to see you. Please keep on being faithful to the Lord. You are my pride and joy. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James with him and went up on a mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed and his clothes became shining white. Suddenly Moses and Elijah were speaking with him. They appeared in heavenly glory and talked about all that Jesus' death in Jerusalem would mean. Peter and the other two disciples had been sound asleep. All at once they woke up and saw how glorious Jesus was. They also saw the two men who were with him. Moses and Elijah were about to leave when Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. 
But Peter did not know what he was talking about. While Peter was still speaking, a shadow from a cloud passed over them, and they were frightened as the cloud covered them. From the cloud, a voice spoke, This is my chosen son. Listen to what he says. After the voice had spoken, Peter, John, and James saw only Jesus. For some time they kept quiet and did not say anything about what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus changed. The big word today, boys and girls, is transfiguration. Ask your parents if they'll uh, explain that a little to you. But he changed in appearance and his clothes became a dazzling white. And then the skies literally opened up and and they heard the voice said, this is my beloved in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So they were all astonished. They were astonished and they were actually astonished, it says, into a silence. On some level, they must have, have th- their minds must have been blown. And yet, in that moment, there was a reassurance. There was a calmness that this, this is it. And this journey, this mission that we've been called to do could be a success. I mean, after all, the skies opened up, and we, got it, we really did get it from God himself that this is my son, you know. I, found, I find this very reassuring in different ways. But I have to be honest, today I'm a little partial to that first reading. And if you heard Tim, it says this line here. And I think it's perfect for what we're going through. That's why I chose it. Uh, And it says, dear friends, I love you and I long to see you. Please keep on being faithful to the Lord. I love you and I long to see you. That could not be more um, dear to my heart right now. I know I speak for Father Bill and of the deacons and Father Mark, and I know I speak actually for everyone on the crew. Uh, we love coming to you, and we love that you've tuned in. Uh, we love that we get all these compliments, and we get people from all over saying how great it is. Not the same. Not the same. I long to see you. It's not the same. Paul pushes us to trust in the Lord. He will be with us on this journey. That, that the Lord will be with us. And especially in these difficult days, what an unbelievable reassurance that is. I heard great news this past week that I believe it's tomorrow that some of these things are going to be lifted. Restaurants will have more people in them. And the stadiums will have some fans. Oh, God is good. Next is the church, right? Please, God. We have some now, but we're going to hope that we can open up and be even bigger and more. God is there with us. God is there for us. He is on this journey, and he reassures you and me just like he reassured the apostles that this is the journey, this is the journey, this is the mission, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And so as we continue on and we struggle through and we feel that sort of Lenten kind of sacrifice, coming up on a full year of of all of this stuff, we pray that we'll be back in church before not too long. It can't be far behind, right? All this other stuff, so the church will be next. And so I share with you a thought that I would like you to have all week, and it may may even sound a little self-serving. I apologize if it does, but I think I speak for every priest and every pastor and every minister everywhere as I repeat St. Paul's thoughts to you in this Lenten season and this Lent. I say to you, dear friends, I love you and I long to see you. We profess our faith and song, those absolutes of our faith that we hold to be unchanging, and we give our resounding affirmation in song of Amen, Amen, we do believe. in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and of the earth. Amen, amen, amen. 
the forgiveness of sin, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen, 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 we do believe. We place our needs before for our God this day as we present, present our petitions. For missionaries and caregivers who serve abroad and at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of industry, that they may be conscientious stewards of the earth's resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are experiencing a crisis, experiencing a crisis of faith, May they be inspired by Abraham's witness of faith in God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are facing mountains of doubt or anxiety, may they gain knowledge and assurance through scripture, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this church community and the challenges we face, especially those who feel they lack the gifts to share time and talent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick and for all our dead, and especially for Russell Hanneberry, and John McDonald, whose funeral masses are celebrated during the week, and for Craig McDonald and Joanne Long, for whom this mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and to grant these prayers. If they're according to your will for us in this life, we ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart. of my heart I want to see you I want to see Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving and almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify you, our faithful in body and in mind, for the celebration of these Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after you told his disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
Father, you are always thinking about your people. You never forget us. You sent us your son, Jesus, who gave his life for us. He came to save us. He cured the sick. He cared for the poor. He wept with those who were sad. He forgave sinners in so doing. He taught us all to forgive one another. He loved everyone. He showed us how to be kind. He took children into his arms and he blessed them. And God, our Father, all over the world, your people praise you. So we pray with the whole church. We pray with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, Father Bill, Father Mark, our deacons, and all the clergy. In heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, St. Helen, and all the saints forever sing your praises. And God, our Father, you are most holy, and we want to show you that we are grateful. So we bring you this bread and wine. And we ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of Jesus, your Son. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took bread from the table. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup filled with wine, and again he thanked you, and gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim in song the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Father, because you love us, you invite us to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children, so we ask you, take care of those we love. And especially, we ask you to take care of Craig and Joanne and John and Russell and all those who have died. Remember everyone suffering from pain or sorrow, Christians everywhere and all other people in the world. We are filled with wonder and praise when we see what you do for us through Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And we pray together now as Jesus himself has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from all sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, God, forever and ever. Amen peace of our Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, 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 peace. Take away. 
take away the sins of all the sins of all the world, the world. means a rare no peace means a rare no peace bread of life bread of life take away you take away the sins of all the sins of all the world, the world. friends. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes your sins, the sins of our world. How happy are we to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed Jesus, and the mercy, giver of grace, I have come to sing glory, to lay my heart before your endless place. Sweet Redeemer, I surrender.
Let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, boys and girls, we enter into that Lenten time a little more uh, kind of significantly. Last Sunday was just a couple of days. Now we're eight or nine days. And now it starts to be a little bit tough. So maybe ask mom and dad to help you with that and adjust it and work with it and uh, make little sacrifices that will help us to know. And, and, again, the more we do, the greater the um, Easter, Easter time will be for us. So thank you for tuning in. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Last week he forgot. I remember that. I remember. I know that. you do. I didn't forget. He's very sensitive. I'm gonna actually gonna mention that in a few minutes. These guys. Are. Oh really? Yeah, because I, I was watching an old episode. I'll explain in a minute. Oh okay. Second Sunday in Lent. Yes. Right into birthdays and announcements. Yeah, you can send your birthdays by email to birthdays at lifeteensmash.com. This past week, uh, Bridget Yee turned nine. Yay! Judy Murray celebrated a big one. She's I'm nine. not gonna say what it what it is, but. But that's She's just what I was told to say. She was a couple so. of years younger than my mom, wasn't yeah. she? Uh, so, yes. Yeah. So then I know exactly yeah, which one it is. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kathy Hines turned 39 again. <laughs> so that's what, that's what uh, Dennis, <laughs> Dennis husband, said sent in. Again. So happy birthday to happy Kathy. Happy 39. Um, 
Gabrielle Gunning had a birthday this past week, and Jacob and Liam Ritchie, the Ritchie twins, had a birthday this week Yay! as well. And then coming up this week, we have second grader James Driscoll has a birthday. Oh, yeah. And nice. the la- uh, last thing, two birthdays today. <gasps> so today is uh, Katie Creedon from uh, Norwell and Zach Lopes turns 15 today. Nice. So that's it. it. Yeah. On three, a big happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday. A very big happy birthday, I just want to say. Big yeah. news for you vlog fans. Oh man, if they big, haven't seen it, they, big they, they news. should check it out. <laughs> Number 150 is, as they say in the business, in the can. <laughs> if you have not seen it, you can see it on tape. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny still, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, you guys have to see, have you guys seen it? It's awesome, Father Bill. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. Lots like of cal- guest appearances. Calendar girl. <laughs> November. <laughs> it was very fun. And a lot of guest appearances. Yes, yeah. Mark Campbell, you might get on a big time honorable mention on this one. Yeah. So, you really? He Look seems thrilled. Huh? <laughs> what he's he thrilled. Say? He said he's thrilled. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Tell yeah. your face. <laughs> now what's he playing? What song is that? I don't, th- I don't know if he knows what he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're used to that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so big news for the vlog fans, and uh, I'd love for you to tune in. And for the teens, it was a little bit longer than usual, so woof. Still not as long as a sitcom. No, but sitcoms have commercials in the middle. Well, take a break. I'm pause, just saying. Pause the <laughs> tape. <laughs> Pause the yeah. thing, yeah. and uh, don't fast forward it like you know who did on Father Chris. <laughs> oh. Don't break. Oh, the by tape. the way, I meant to mention, Mark. Mikey didn't like your joke. Uh oh. No? You're in trouble. <laughs> he says I'm. Uh, he says I'm behind it, and he doesn't. He doesn't believe that I'm not. But anyway, okay. Let's do a song. This is. We haven't done this in an age. Wow. To almost like being in love. What a time we have seen. We haven't done this in real long. Right? No. I don't know. What a time we have seen through this whole quarantine. How we've turned to our God up above. It was tough for a while. Now we're starting to smile as we trust. In the Lord and His love All the sadness we had is now gone Only joy of our God from now on And as those bells start to ring How we all love to sing there is it. We were falling. How our Lord kept on calling. Wrote it. We trust in the love of our God. All the sadness we had is now gone. Only joy of our God from now on. And as those bells start. How we all love to sing Though we felt we were falling How our Lord kept on calling Though we felt we were falling How our Lord kept on calling And we trust in the love of our God Big ending to make up for my boo Small mistake Tell them, tell the gang about CCD. I like to keep them posted. Yeah, so and I think I saw a tape of someone, and I wasn't in it. And you told me I'm in every one. I did not tell you you were in every one. I told you you were in most of them. We though. have it. We have it for about a month ago. Yeah. Remember when he said I was in all of them, Mutt? At that point, you <laughs> were. See who you agree with. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they got religious ed should have gotten an email this past week with some Lenten ideas. Oh, cool. So if they haven't, uh, they got it. So if you haven't seen it or read through it, there's lots of great ideas for uh, to do as a family for Lent and um, great well, thing, great way to add something. Grace, 
Yes. Neil, yeah, that was that in, in there? there? That was in there. Yeah. They stole that from me. Did they? No, actually, years ago, Mrs. McDonough did that grace. Oh, yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We should do that on tape so you can bring yeah. it back. Yeah. Nice. The Hickey family. <laughs> they're spooky and they're crazy. The Hickey family. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay. Um, so listen. I, I tuned into an old episode the other night because we were watching one. It was not that late. And I said, oh, so it was me and I think Father Chris and Mike. It was a cast party, actually. Oh, really? Nice. Still having those? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, we're just hanging out a bit. But anyway, uh, we went to an episode in which Mark and Lenny are exceedingly jealous and very vocal about their jealousy what? about Tim and Steve. Oh. They were very, like, like, oh, maybe Tim and Steve were here. Maybe. Well, you don't remember this? No, there's never been a problem with that. <laughs> Tim never and been. Steve can't well, you got that good. I'm, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing that episode back. You'll see yourself. <laughs> I don't know why you keep bringing them up. Me, 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 me. Okay, that's it. Spring is in the air. Yeah. Get outside. Get away, except for right now. Yes. Get away yeah. from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, by the way, I said, well, by the way, did well, you hear? Is on. I said, th th thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Like, what am I like, Bob Baca now? <laughs> I mean, hey, thanks for you. We know you have a lot of choices, <laughs> so we're glad you chose us. I mean, what is that? I meant thanks, but it is tuning yeah. in. I yeah. guess I don't know. It just sounded funny to me. Anyway, so get outside, get some playtime, get out in the yard. Uh, with your sisters and your brothers and your friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's time, right? That's it. Speaking of that, Life Team will be outside soon, I think. Hopefully, if, it, if the weather keeps getting warmer. Come seems on. Seems like it is. And then so. it, I have an idea. Yeah. I think we should move a couple more masses outside because I think we'll get more people for outside. Oh, maybe. My good yeah. friend, Father Nesta, who once told me that if I didn't do my homework, I was going to be kept back in seminary, but that's another story <laughs> for another time. They didn't keep me back. <laughs> You don't do your homework, you're going, you're going to be in deep trouble. I said, I'm doing my homework. Start up. Anyway, but he's my good friend now. Yeah. Uh, he does outside masses in Hingham, not yeah. through the winter, but yeah. he said very successfully. So yeah. they have that big, uh, so we're going to try that too, all right? That's it. A life teen in two hours. Yeah. And this one is, I love this one. Oh, by the way, I give a shout out to our good friend, Mike Callahan. He heard us nice. sing it and he made a couple of edits. Oh. So they're there. You won't even be able to know them, but... They were good at it, so if you go back to the f one we did, and then this one, okay. you'll see it. So, to the tune of Fly Me to the Moon, one, please. Two, one, two, three. Oh, pray for us, my friends, and we will promise that for you. Let us feel what faith is like and trust in God so true. In other words, take his hand, just like the prince in the sand. Oh, fill our hearts with faith and let us pray forevermore. God is all we long for, all we worship and adore. pray forevermore. Our God is all we long for, all we worship and adore. Have trust, my friend. He's so true. And never doubt. And never doubt. And never doubt. He loves you. And us saying, take it to them, boys. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah. Blessing. Yes. So in my blessing, I'm, I'm just, well, I'll, I'll say one thing then. Never mind, I'll do the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. This is what I want to say. I remind you what I said in the homily, and it's from the bottom of my heart. St. Paul said, dear friends, I love you. And I long to see you. Very I love nice. that. Thank yeah. you.
I'm so glad. I'm so glad we had this time together just to say a prayer or sing a song. It seems we just got started and before you know it comes a time we have to say so long. If a Jeopardy question was, uh, what, a, some, what is a St. Paul quote Mike Callahan will never say to Father Chris? Oh, I love you and I long to see you. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't put that in the form of a question. Oh, what is, I love you, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, gang. Good weather coming. Get outdoors. And never doubt. And never doubt. And never 